day everyone, my name is Charlize Ekorasma from STEM 1205. Today I will show you on how to make a 3D plant cell. First, we need a material, a cartoon, scissors, marker, cotton balls, brushes, tissue, and paint color. On this part, I outline and trace the cell wall of the plant cell. Then, I cut the cell wall using a cutter. After I cut the cell wall, I paste it in the base of the plant cell. Next, I draw the parts of the plant cell. Then, I cut it using a cutter. After I draw and cut, I paste it inside the plant cell. I used cotton balls for the vacuole and nucleus to be detailed. I paste the tissue all around the cell for me to paint it easier later. I let it dry for a couple of minutes. Then I started to paint the cell in different color to be distinguished.
Next is the parts and functions of plant cell. Hello everyone, now this is the finished product of the 3D plant cell I made. Now I will discuss to you the functions of the parts of the plant cell. First, we will start on a small one, the nucleus. It controls and regulates the activities of the cell. Second is the nucleus. It carries genetic information and controls what happens inside the cell. Next is the endoplasmic reticulum. It is the production, processing, and transport of proteins and in the production of lipids. This is the chloroplast. It allows the plants to capture the energy of the sun. Next is the mitochondria, where most respiration reactions happen. This is the peroxime. It plays important roles in metabolism. Next is the vacuole. Keeps, it keeps the cell firm. Next is the Golgi apparatus. It is responsible for transporting, modifying, and packaging proteins and lipids into vesicle for delivery to targeted destinations. And the last is the cell wall. This, this is the cell wall. It provides structural strength and support. And that is the functions of the parts of the plant cell.